professor here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, over our double team. Finally here. Oh, boy. Hmm. There we go. Other way around. Fortunately, Water Dragon, uh, which time is your teammate? So New York City doesn't see that many Bayos, which is always really funny to me. Yeah, I'm really glad to see them popping up more. Yeah, because it's like we need that uh, we need that experience for the national level because we can't keep expecting to not run into them. Yeah. Uh, Water Dragon, I'm actually not sure where the heck he came from, but I'm happy to see a new, uh, new face. And overall, this is looking pretty even, but like in doubles, it always ends up being whoever can seal the deal first. Because at the end of the day, like it is a numbers game, and any vulnerability, like right there, any vulnerability that you leave by being dead, you uh, your partner is gonna suffer the entire time. Mm -hmm. Chances are that you're gonna pull. Hey, he's gonna die if you can't. Uh, if you can't get back with him. Right? Which, like, managing to hold on though while Venya was dead. We only got witch times. Very unfortunate for Water Dragon to just put it there. Kind of like one's movement. Oh, I love that. That was kind of cool. A really good use of uh, of Yoshi's down air by one to get through the uh, to get through the Bayo up smash, which has like super low priority and then he's almost last stock already. <laughs> what? And the jelly's holding on really well, he's doing a great job of uh, stock tanking. As I say that, the jelly dies. Oh, I love this. Ooh, nice. What happened to Venya's two stocks? Uh, so Venya died randomly at some point at the very beginning, and then he just got like comboed like crazy. Nice tech by one, dude. Nope. There goes both their stocks. Yeah, he had the three v one, and then uh, the two v one. That whole concept of uh, you need to try to steal both of, the, both of your opponent's stocks as quickly as possible when it becomes a 2v1 situation is like really important. Especially for Venya and Ninja Link because they're really good at capitalizing on those moments where one of them gets a grab. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> they both wanted a follow-up, but they both grabbed. It's pretty cute. Okay. Interesting. Surprisingly, even. You know, uh, he's definitely holding a bit of a lead. Uh, Ninja Link's stock tanking definitely coming in handy. But that up tilt might end up costing him. I think he killed him. He definitely got hit by uh, Water Dragon's up air, but I don't know if he would have died anyways. And that's like the... Fifth uh, witch time that Water Dragon's landed this match. Oh my god! Yeah, Yo, wasn't good. able to get a perfect follow up on that just because he used uh, it too soon after. Hilarious. Oh, Bat Within uh, coming in clutch for Water Dragon twice already. I think the only thing that one and Water Dragon don't really have right now is the proper synergy to. Uh, to kind of stay out of each other's ways when uh, when they're fighting a 2v1 situation. Because you see them like hitting each other a lot, especially like during the match. Eight? Oh, oh no. Hilarious. Oh. He's dead. Good, uh, great damage control. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> great damage control by Venya, uh, bringing it back. Uh, Ninja Link also doing an awesome job tanking, but I was really impressed with how one and Water Dragon kind of like pushed through to the end and were able to get like lots of really good kills. Mm hmm. I just wish uh, that they had like a little bit better 2v1s. It's probably not helped by the fact that uh, <laughs> Witch Time was so staled that Water Dragon literally had no option to do anything mm -hmm. when, uh, when he had him in it.
Yeah. Alright, so we're going to uh, FD. Interesting choice. Uh, considering how many kills they got off the top uh, the last match. I guess cumulatively both teams did. Where were we on the first Town. Day? Town. Wait. Wait, that was Smashville, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I said Town. This is looking like a much better game for the blue team, though. They're uh, doing a lot, they're doing a much better job of kind of managing the. I oh, mean, honestly, yeah. like, the Smash. blue team had a really strong start in the first game, too, but then, you know, Benny exploded. And it was like even. And then the, uh, the, what is it? Ill advised uh, water to uh, kind of push them into the top. Ooh, nice up tilt by, uh, by Ninja Link to steal the first Dokken. Wow. Oh, well, not killing with that F smash. That's a little surprising. The one thing that uh, the biggest issue that Wild Dragon wants seem to have is that they keep hitting each other in the air because they're not really like paying attention to where the other is. Mm -hmm. So when they're put into a bad situation, they try to hop on whoever is knocked away because neither of them is really looking to see is that my partner or is that my enemy. They just always assume that it's their enemy. Oh, nice! Which time? Nice hop smash! <laughs> all right, so now all the stocks have been evened up. Bayonetta has a little bit. Uh, pretty high percent, but you know, as long as they're able to like close the gap here, that's all that matters. I'm like looking for that up tilt, but I guess he had a little bit of a flub. He got distracted by one. Oh, and I think he jumped out of that up air, didn't he? Mm hmm. Can't be doing that. Have to always air dodge. You have to air dodge to hope that the one part of it that actually kills doesn't hit you. And even then, there's a good chance you're still gonna die. That's a pretty. Nah, that's a pretty easily available uh, hitbox. Just don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Never jump. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The blue team securing a nice lead. An interesting choice by one to fare his teammates. Uh, I like that attempt at Ninja Link when he saw that when Water Dragon landed the Witch Time, saw the backflip and was going to try and up tilt him because he moved back into it. It didn't happen, but it was like, yeah, that's what he was going for, and that was really cute. Water Dragon taking uh, one's last stock. And then one goes right out. Yep. So there's one strength that... Uh that the blue team really has is that they're really good at 2v1 situations. So Water Dragon has to play this kind of really carefully if he wants to not get demolished. Uh-huh. I mean, plus it's, you know, one stock to three. Well, you, you've seen people squander big release before. I guess. But that's not happening today. Oh, 